Hello once again, it's the One Hour Gamer here. I uh, usually pick up games, crack them open, default settings, and play for an hour and show you guys what it's all about. Uh, in this case, I'm actually uh, playing through a nice little fun time with Morkum FC here with FIFA 17 on the PS4. And we continue on in our journey trying to take the Shrimps to glory, one of the worst teams in FIFA 17, and they're taking on Portsmouth here. They're actually pretty close to the top of the table here in the bottom league in the uh, English Football League. So we'll see what they can do with uh, today's game. Uh, Kenny, as you can see, a bit uh, banged up, and so we'll maybe adjust the roster uh, a tad. But uh, for the most part, we are going to keep uh, everybody in uh, that we need to keep in. And Portsmouth, I think, are just ahead of us in the table. So uh, this game could be a difference maker come the end of the year, as there's only so many games. So hopefully we can take this one from them. Without further ado, let's get to the match. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. Hello to you all and welcome to today's game. The game today is Portsmouth and it's against Morecambe. Yeah, two teams that have enjoyed decent starts quite high up in the table, the both of them, and uh, I'm expecting a really exciting clash the way they've gone about the business so far. As follows, number one, David Ford, number 25, Drew Talbot, number two, Tom Well, he really could be the star of the show today. Three in his last three, really been his team's man of the moment. Stockton has been a standout this year for us. And here is the Portsmouth lineup for this game. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid. But they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a threat on the front foot, we'll wait and see. What a good looking guy. The lineup for the away side. And again, we're going to see this shape up as a, a battle, individual battles, really, because the formations are so similar. Yeah, they are similar. And uh, you do see this so often these days, two really popular attacking shapes. So uh, interesting how it pans out. Well, special memories for me, Alan. Fratton Park was where I commentated on my second ever game for television it was Portsmouth against Oxford United in the old second division Pompey won and created the sort of atmosphere that many younger people will know having heard the noise that they can get from this kind of stadium it's, it's old-fashioned but it rocks it does and you say old-fashioned the dressing rooms are as small as they come really pokey little affairs such an old decrepit ground in many ways but one that it, it's an old-school atmosphere always enjoy playing here Good little take from the commenters, commentators there. I like that. Shots on here. Gone for goal. In I might as well give it a try style. early on. Wow. I was expecting him to be wheeling away in celebration there. Take a crack, why not? A poor giveaway. Gonna try one now. A good well, thing didn't cost us. But it wasn't a very good shot. He's had a go here. Great work by the goalkeeper. The ball is his and he's made sure he's protected it. Yeah, Jennings. Barry Roach, our keeper this year, has just been fantastic as well, along with Stockton. Slipped his man. Building steadily here. here Stockton up front. And now the shot. Oh. He's kept it out. On Trying to do what he's done all year. Got a corner, hoping for the goal that will put them in the lead. Scoring goals almost at will. Close one there. Good save, though. Good save. Yeah, set pieces haven't been too great for me this year. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Don't have too many skilled guys out there, though. Kind of a sleeper of a first half so far. Hopefully uh, things can pick up in the second. 
Well, that is half time, and the score is nil nil here. Tight match, trying to keep it close. So the weather is terrible. And stay toward the top of the table. So during half time, there's no respite for the players as they've come out getting another drenching at the start of this second half. Yeah, I think literally every game I've played this Hardly year the ball has been raining. In this game, trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. You can juice it up here. To put them in oh. front. Another opportunity wasted by this team. That could have been it. In the match. Stockton right where he wanted him. He's given possession away here. Pin well, oh, it is a free go. kick. And uh, they're excited by this. It's a real yeah, chance. Free kicks, corners. To at least work the goalkeeper. Been a battle. They don't have Messi or Ronaldo. No skill like that out there. Well, they know their football here, Alan, don't they? And they're not happy. They suspect a bit of gamesmanship. No, wasted one. Yeah, and I think they have right to suspect that because the away team here really are trying to tick down the clock and get something out of this match. Real opportunity. Still nil nil. For Plymouth Argyle, 76 minutes, please. 2 1. Thanks, Alan. Come on, here we go. And he goes oh. for goal with his head. It's a very good game here, a tight one. I think that guy, Masanka's on loan. Not very good, he hasn't played very much for me. Then again, I guess since he hasn't played much, I haven't tried him out enough. I have to throw him in the squad here and there. Portsmouth making some changes. Well, that looked promising, but he's been Here's a good giveaway here, let's see if we can make something happen. Getting close to the end of the game. Ooh, here we go. Oh, he's taking a chance here. The player's on a booking. <laughs> How are they going to deal with this situation? Yeah, too the bad it's so late in the game. Go. He's got the red card. Right, it looks like it's going to be a, a backs-to-the-wall performance now for them. No Might not have deal at time. all. Genuine attempt to go for the ball. Well, it is a foul, Martin. He didn't really seem to get his balance right there before making the challenge. They've coped oh. with it well defensively. On the attack here. All right, final push here. Peter Murphy. Lovely one-touch football. He's got his shot oh. off now. Oh, how much that difference could that could have made. Well, I don't know whether nerves got the better of him because he was aware of how important it was to score there. I kind of wanted him on the right foot, but left foot is his dominant one. Damn it. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to Another it. Another chance here. Oh, there we go. Referee's blown for the free kick. And here's a chance, maybe. It's late on. It's a good oh, position free kicks for the free kick. Terrible. Well, this is going to be difficult for them, Alan, isn't it? They're already in trouble with the referee. And now they've got another yellow card here, which increases the pressure on this particular player. Yeah, I mean, discipline-wise, they've uh, not been at the best, making life really difficult for themselves. No, same thing. Well, there we are, the game is over. And amazingly, no goals in it, despite all the action. Nil-nil, the final score. Well, I guess I'll take it. Another point. Portsmouth doesn't get too far away. They don't get the three, and us get the zero. Would have been nice to get the three, but uh, nonetheless, take the tie. Went into some of the training here. And it's really tough. I mean, if you've played FIFA, and if you've gone with some of the top-tier teams, whether they're in the Premier League, the Liga... Bundesliga, the guys on our team when you're training, especially the youngsters who have that high potential, uh, when you train them, their attributes just go through the roof. Here in, you know, the bottom tiers of English football, not so much. Uh, but nonetheless, you still try. And, and that's one of those things where you really have to grow these guys from the ground up, or at least try to, because the financial objectives are so tough and so tight. For example, it's very difficult for me to bring anyone in just because our budget has to stay within 20% of what we started at the beginning of the year. So you can kind of see the challenges there. But still, it makes for fun. You can't just go out and buy 
anybody that you want, like Dybala. I know everyone likes to pick him up as a young guy. Super striker and great potential. In this case, that's not going to happen. It's not like he would go to Morecambe anyways. Although we could. If they take him to glory, we'll see what happens. But so far, still trying to mess around with the formations uh, a little bit. I've done some tweaking here and there just with the squad. But it kind of looks like I'm going to stick with uh, what we currently have so far. And uh, the Check a Trade trophy, which has kind of been fun. I think we've won the past two games here. Uh, yeah, the past couple. So we got another one here to continue on in that. And uh, we'll see what games we have coming up here. So we can, yeah, it's going to be pretty tight. So hopefully we can maybe get some new guys in there to rest our other guys for the league games. Uh, but nonetheless, it's nice to see how far we can go with uh, this. We've got Morecambe versus Doncaster. And hopefully we can take it home. So yeah, let's change things up here a little bit. Uh, may, may move out Stockton, even though he's been so good for us, but I'd really like to kind of keep him. Yeah, I'll put Murphy in there, give him a shot, even though Fleming has been playing quite well for us. And yeah, maybe we'll put in... Put in uh, Mullen here up top. I'll get him in for Stockton, but we'll leave Stockton in. Uh, as a substitute, just in case. Neither got to bring him on, as we've had to before, and he's gotten that golden goal for us. Please do uh, feel free how you're liking the series so far, and comment to maybe give me some advice on how to battle with these uh, lower-tier teams. But it has made for an interesting challenge so far. <laughs> an enjoyable one, uh, but definitely interesting at the same time. Plus, not really familiar with any of these guys so don't really know where their skills lie so really just kind of picking and choosing and trying things out here and there all right let's get to the game well domestic action for you in the competition now known as the football league trophy and a chance to make progress and a chance to boost the coffers really for the successful side yeah thanks to the players a chance to get away from League action, different kind of atmosphere in these cup matches, and sometimes you see different sorts of performances. Our match for you today is Morecambe. They will play Doncaster Rovers. Number two, Liam Lakefield. And he's run, I know Alan's keeping an eye on here. Not bad at all. Four goals in his last three games. Another danger man to keep an eye out for. like some of the kits of these teams though like the Doncaster and even well, more this is how the home team shape up I think that back four is really important for them they've got to be strong and solid but they've got a bit of protection haven't they they have they should have more than enough I mean they're all good defenders in their own rights but uh, in front of them they've got players who are going to be working really hard whether they could be a fit on the front foot we'll wait and see This is the lineup for the away side. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required. I think so. If they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park, that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield. Morecambe trying to get back to winning ways after their draw, an away draw against Portsmouth. Yeah, talk about a, a bore draw, that nil-nil. <laughs> And I don't think it's going to get too much better. In fact, I think it's going to get worse. They might lose. Oh, good. Now, the Williams. commentators are on our side, so that's always good for Morecambe. <laughs> Trying to find a way through here. Probing away. As we can see, get, see a goal here. Through pass. On either side. A good save again by the keeper. He's just been it's solid back there. Doncaster hard on it early flipped over the bar by the keeper yeah without him I don't know That'll what uh, we would have done I haven't tried any other keeper in net yet for Morecambe and the way that Roach is playing uh, no need to so far clear this that way yeah. well they just can't get the ball away it's another corner Goes for oh. goal with the header. And 
behind off the frame of the goal. <laughs> That's Gather Tiger at the beginning. He's on fire for Doncaster. But couldn't get that one. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here. And then just lost the concentration. Take a crack, come on. Lost the ball as well. Saw the goal oh. and went for it. That's a fine strike, but not quite what he was hoping for. But when he's hit it, I'm sure he would have thought that was going to bulge in the back of the net. Not quite, though. Just one goal. <laughs> That's all I want, Position one here. goal. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. And there is the half-time whistle. Nil-nil at the break. Well, I don't know about you, Alan, but I can't wait for the second half to start. Half-time seemed a bit long, to be honest with you. Here we go. Yeah. Hopefully fortunes will change. And shoots! Oh, well, not like that, they weren't close, though, well, you for can't them. Knock him. He was in the right place at the right time. Just couldn't uh, provide the finishing touch. Notice that in the lower levels when they're playing... Uh, a lot of the guys take shots from further out. This with a chance to oh. go into the lead now. Oh, no, it wasn't Stockton, maybe Stockton have buried well. it, but got to give him a little try. See what he's, the see what he's about. To keep it goalless. Again, been struggling with the corners so far on a lot of the set pieces. And no change there. Struggles continue. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Oh, ran right by him. Cross comes in now. Shots oh. up. Well, they're trying hard to get in front here. Lucked out there, but I'll take it. Number eight, Peter Murphy, to be replaced by number four, Alex Kenyon. Bringing on Kenyon now for Murphy. See if that uh, helps out. And here's the cross. And it's a header. Oh, oh another big save. Here. Great well, position. Well, they're trying to outdo each other, these two goalkeepers, with the saves that they're making. Neither Still nil -nil. will be beaten. <laughs> and in comes the header. Ooh. Great stop. Defensively, though, we've been okay against other teams' set pieces. But the one at the other end as well. Both been in majestic form to maintain clean sheets. There we go. He's cleaned up here, hasn't he, with that clearance. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. That's Stockton on now. Hopefully, get that goal. Position now. Ah, no. That certainly helps the pass it there. That's why. In the middle to stop the cross like that. <laughs> we got to shoot. The referee's given the corner, and the chance now to pour men forward. All right, another try. Another try. Tries to punch it away. All right, we'll dial it up again. Get one in close to Stockton here. Yeah. And he's in there with a oh, header. No. It's such a close game. Well, it wasn't a very close effort, was it? No, as the clock ticks on, I think that's the pressure got to him, really, and he just made the wrong choice. Low. Nil, nil, nil. Well, there's only one way now we're going to to penalties between these two teams. And it is a penalty shooter. Now, well, he's kept us in it all year, and now it's up to Barry. Barry Roach in the net there, and we'll set our shooters. I mean, defaults look pretty good here, so we'll just go with that. <laughs> Hopefully, we get some luck. And the first man up is ready to go. Yep. And he scores! Didn't even move. All right, so I'm thinking he's probably going to go to the right here. Yep. Oh, what a save. Frame of the goal. Little check in the run-up. Keeper makes the save. There's another That's one. That's a brilliant goal. Can he take it on? The responsibility here Come is on, a big same ask. Thing. Wonderful yeah. goal, well, So often it is a game of cat and mouse, but he was up to the challenge. Well, he doesn't look all that confident. Oh, Beat the but he buries. Well this Beauty. Well, the goalkeeper knows that if he can keep this one out, his side of one. But the penalty taker can keep his side in it by scoring. And it oh, is a goal right the there. from the spot. 
They haven't questioned that right run up. There. He has to score. Doesn't he just? Just about keeping his nerve. Well, let's close it out here. Stockton. Oh, oh he's wasted wow. it. Oh, you feel for him, but it wasn't a good effort at all. Well, is he going to be up to the task here? I'm not no, sure. Come on. Oh, cheeky. And he waited for the goalkeeper to move and chipped cheeky, it in. Cheeky. Oh, he's running through his veins. The pressure, the ultimate pressure now. Looks easy, doesn't it? But believe me, it's not. And there that it is. is. That's it. That's the shootout. Well, he stepped up there. There didn't seem any doubt in his mind. Don't like penalties, but I'll take them when we win. <laughs> At least that gets us moving along. Maybe make some more money and hopefully uh, ease up those financial objectives. Yeah, we'll get uh, back in and now. Got a few things and oh, that's always nice. Kenyon, pulled groin. So he was injured, brought him back, and now it looks like he is injured again. So we'll have to take him out, maybe put put Mullen in there for the time being. Only seven days though he's gone, so shouldn't be too, too bad. And now we get to check out who I sent. I only purchased one scout just because knowing the financial objectives, I can't be taking on a ton of talent but it's going to depend with injuries here. And again, when you kind of see in the top tier leagues, these guys' potentials, the scouting's better, the judgment's better. Um, so we'll see what we can kind of get. And you get what you pay for. <laughs> so hopefully the judgments are right here. There's a, that could be a, a keeper of a keeper. Maybe take a look at some of the other guys. That's typically what I like to do is kind of scroll through them all, see maybe as the highest potentials, the highest overalls right now keep some or I might you know get rid of that guy for example because he had some of the lowest potentials out of everyone and for some of the people I'm not sure about I'll just hang on keep the scout out there and I think it's after like three months we have to decide on whether or not we want to sign him or get rid of him but so far just checking around England I'm probably going to stick around England just to, to play it safe I'll maybe go to some of you know like Spain uh, Portugal Italy but I'll probably stay within Europe but we'll see how it goes uh, but nonetheless uh, that wraps it up for this particular episode thank you so much for joining me I'm the one hour gamer I've been taking more come on FIFA 17 on the PS4 to see if we can bring the lowly shrimps to some glory and right now they're doing all right so thanks again for joining me